Welcome back. The Mysore Urban Development Authority scam in Karnataka continues to haunt the state government, specifically the Chief Minister. A team of 12 ED officials raided the office today uh, in connection with the land allotment case. ED officials also conducted a meeting with senior officials of Muda, including the Commissioner. ED also raided uh, the home of Devraj, the original owner of the 3.16 acres of land that Sidharamaya has said was a gift to his wife by her brother. The Congress government is downplaying these raids. They say that instead of raking up allegations uh, against the Chief Minister, the BJP should look at allegations that some of their own leaders face, including Union Minister Prahlad Joshi's family members. BJP has in turn accused the Congress of diverting the issue. They continue to gun for the Chief Minister's resignation. Now, this also comes after Muda chief quit on instructions of the chief minister, raising suspicions as well. So, as the enforcement directorate probe gathers steam, what we want to ask is if the chief minister is who the ED comes for next. <laughs> ಮುಖ್ಯಮಂತ್ರಿಗಳಿಗೆ ವಿಶೇಷವಾಗಿ ಭ್ರಷ್ಟಾಚಾರ ಅಪರಾಧವಲ್ಲ ಅನ್ನೋ ಮನಸ್ ಮನಸ್ಥಿತಿಗೆ ಮುಖ್ಯಮಂತ್ರಿಗಳು ಮತ್ತು ಕಾಂಗ್ರೆಸ್ ಪಕ್ಷ ಬಂದ ಹಾಗೆ ಕಾಣ್ತಾ ಇದೆ Let's open this up. Rohan Gupta, spokesperson of the BJP, continues to be with us. Lavanya Balar, spokesperson of the Congress, joins us as well. Lavanya, let me begin by asking you, as far as the Mysuru Urban Development Authority alleged scam is concerned, we had the Muda Commissioner recently quit. He said he did so on the instructions of uh, the Chief Minister. The BJP, your political rivals, many in the state of Karnataka, say that this raises suspicions. Right. I mean, the entire case is based on allegations by the BJP. There is no solid proof of corruption. And when they talk about money laundering case, the money has not changed hands at all. So, uh, well, we also look at the precedent of these cases. Uh, in 2011, uh, when uh, R. Ashok returned the sites that he had uh, illegally acquired, you know, there was a charge sheet against him and he returned the sites and the High Court dropped the case against him. Now, there are mere allegations against the Chief Minister. The BJP wants him to resign and also they are talking about uh, suspicions. You know, the entire case is built on allegations and not a charge sheet. That is very suspicious for me. What is the intention of the BJP? Is it to destabilize an elected government or is it to tarnish a leader's image who has an you know, um, clean image uh, throughout his career. As far as the charge sheet demand is concerned, you know, uh, it's still preliminary stages. Yes. Is the investigation yet to complete, which is why perhaps we've not seen a charge sheet. So why not let law take its own course? And if, if the law then gives you a clean sheet, that just vindicates you further, isn't it? Absolutely, you're correct. We, that is why the government of Karnataka had formed a judiciary probe committee to look into the allegations my, made by this private citizen. What we are talking about here is charge sheet has been filed against Mr. Uh, H.D. Kumaraswamy. Charge sheet has been filed against multiple BJP leaders, but there has been no action at all by the judiciary or by, Mr., uh, by the governor of Karnataka. But without any charge sheet, against the CM of Karnataka, Mr. Sidramaya, there is an investigation that has been ordered. This is what we are concerned about. We are not concerned about being investigated because we know at the end of investigation, the CM is going to come out with a clean sheet. We are very confident about it. So we are we welcome this investigation. All we are saying is, why doesn't the same rule apply to the BJP and the JDS leaders? That's all. Rohan Gupta, this is nothing but double standards. Or this is nothing but the BJP using central agencies like the Enforcement Directorate. And this is an allegation the BJP has faced on multiple other occasions. See, Puran, the basic question is wherever there is Congress government, why there are corruption charges? And if you see that this is not a simple case, the national president and the, the CM both are involved in the same thing. And if they have not done anything wrong, there is no point in returning the plots. Because you know that when you are going to return the plots, their questions will be asked. 
so the questions are raised and if they are so clean they should not be bothered let the uh, things come clean na? why 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 are we questioning the agency the agency's work is to uh, wherever the concerns are raised they will investigate the question here is larger question the purpose for which this plot were allocated right whether the people who got this plot they fit in the criteria no they don't so out of criteria if something is given there is something wrong and that's why maybe uh, i i'm i don't i'm not sure why the muda chairman uh, had resigned but the questions will be raised if the plots are written if the chairman resigns and if they are avoiding the inquiry the questions will be raised and again again i am going to the core issue you see that governments of haryana by 10 years bjp is in power there are no question of corruption why it happens that wherever there is congress government the serious corruption charges are against the senior leaders like cm and the national president they have to come clean and the first step towards that is returning of the plots i think it raises the suspicions more here yeah, um if i may respond please go ahead lavanya Yeah, I would like to say for the CM's wife, who has never been seen by even the politicians in Karnataka, her husband's honor means much more to her than the sights that she justifiably deserves for her property being acquired. One. Secondly, I would also like to say when you say about Haryana and other states where there is BJP and there is nothing like this, that is because the Congress and other opposition parties do not believe in making wild. allegations imaginary allegations against the bjp it is only the bjp which makes wild allegations and we have seen the conviction rate of the ed and other agencies in india after the allegations were made by the bjp we ask the same thing we are not scared of any investigation when we talk about a property given to uh, ms uh, parvati sidaramaiah it was under the 50 50 scheme which was launched by the bjp in the year 2022 the bjp was in power when it allocated 14 sites to her now we question why did they bring the 50 50 scheme and out of the sites allocated it was not just 14 for parvati there were 300 more sites 3000 more sites that were allocated why is it that there is no investigation on those sites uh, allocated is it because the sites were allocated to jds and bjp leaders why is there a different kind of policy for the congress and different policy for the bjp why is it that the same you know standards are not applied for all of them why is it that till date you know uh, hd kumaraswamy who is who, on whom there is a charge sheet from last few years for uh, illegally occupying the site meant for public poor uh, housing in gangenhalli why is it there is no action by the governor But when the governor acted, and when the governor gave prosecutorial sanction, uh, Lavanya Balal, that too was seen as uh, him acting as the agent of the BJP. It was uh, it was only a sanction last week. Why was it that it takes like five years for the governor to take action against that? There is a charge sheet by Loka Yukta against me uh, against H D Kumar Swami. Hmm. Why is it there is no action taken against against him or the multiple BJP leaders? Hmm. Ron Gupta responded. leaders of the See, bjp or your alliance partners or anybody who joins the bjp their crimes are suddenly whitewashed that's the allegation that the congress makes in this case as well punam the question is very very simple are they questioning whether the corruption is done or not or are they questioning selective action they should be very clean if number 1 if there is nothing wrong they should not be worried about the inquiry by ed or anybody if in that matter if there is something wrong that's why they have written the plot sheet they are questioning bjp action will be taken against everybody but then you should not raise the political issue if you are in politi- if you are on the position senior position like cm's wife and it is not one plot punam it is 14 plots or you are a central you are the uh, st- uh, national president of a party and the purpose for which the plots were there that no due, li- due diligence properly followed obviously the questions will be raised if the process is not followed and something is even obviously you have to give back and again i am telling if they are clean they should not be worried about the inquiry either they question whether the inquiry is wrong because they have not done something wrong or they can said no we have done and others have done they should be also penalized so they should be very very clear in their narrative point here is if you see the central message here wherever there is congress government you will find the corruption issues coming on the floor wherever there is bjp government they are sensitive and let me tell one more thing wherever bjp governments were there where the allegations were made by congress party wherever their governments came whether it is rajasthan whether it is madhya pradesh whether it is chatisgarh you tell me which bjp leader they could find any accusations which were correct no because they were political accusations 
so obviously there is a difference punam between political acquisitions and the real charges and here they are worried because they know that the, there is substance in this complaint and if the inquiry is done they will have to face the uh, the challenge and that's why they are returning the plots that's why muda chairman had to resign so these things are not simple the consequences of the allegations are sure. such that they yeah punam if i may respond quickly um, i don't think mr rohan gupta is aware of the developments of the moda case in karnataka uh, let me make it very clear the sides of moda was by the bjp government and not by the congress all actions the denotification and every other action was done either by jds cm or by the bjp cm so there has been no involvement of the congress party at all in the entire 50 50 scheme that bjp government came to you know Uh, 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 had in Karnataka. One. Secondly, I think I'll have to remind you once again. We already have a uh, judiciary inquiry going on about the allegations made about the Muda side. So when we are talking about corruption, let me be very clear. The forty thousand crore scam committed by the BJP leaders in Karnataka, and the allegation was spilled into the public domain by the BJP senior uh, leader himself. so there is an investigation going on let's not say you know the great washing machine of the bjp will clean everybody no there are multiple scams that are being investigated in karnataka and let me make it very clear none of the bjp leaders will go unscathed by these uh, you know scams whereas rcm mr sidramayya punam and let me make it very clear he is going to come out of this entire allegations cooked up by the bjp unscathed his image is not going to be tarnished would we then see no. lavanya balal the chief minister also appear before uh, the ed if required because we saw the muda offices being raided the original owner of the land uh, he is being uh, questioned he is under the lens as well so eventually we are going to be seeing uh, the investigation come towards the chief minister and his family absolutely when the investigation demands that uh, the person who has been accused has to appear before the uh, agency for investigation of course our cm and his wife will appear in front of the uh, agencies but it is very unfortunate parvati who has not even attended her own husband's uh, you know swearing in couple of times when he became the cm is today forced into the public space uh, because bjp has cooked up some kind of allegations against her very but why was she forced why did she have to return uh, the land uh, if you look at her statement on the day when she returned the site she said the honor of my husband is much more important for me then the land i might lose so her uh, point is very simple for me my husband is much more important so it was a decision she took to come out in public make that statement and release those uh, plots uh, back to muda why uh, do you think she was forced to do any of it the statement was made by her advocates to mm. the public domain mm. uh, miss parvati's site was taken by the muda and she's not been compensated for the site that she's been uh, you know that has been taken from her she's she's justified in asking for compensation but the bjp believes she should not be asking for compensation at all but the allegation lavanya balal is that what compensation you say is justifiably deserved was way out of proportion we are not saying it is justified the 14 sites are justified all we are saying is the compensation she received she received from bjp government hmm. she didn't receive it from the congress Mm. she received it from the bjp government what was the bjp government doing mm. 25 people sit in the moda board right 25 people it is not one person 25 people sit including jds bjp members and the officers sit in the moda committee so what were they all thinking when they rewarded one person 14 sites let me remind you once again it is not just parvati there are 200 other people who have also received the sites in the similar fashion why isn't there an investigation about it hmm ron gupta it was the bjp government under which these plots were uh, assigned the congress in fact says that when mr sidramayya was chief minister he in fact decided to not get into this because it would have been a conflict of interest obviously it is a conflict of interest right see once uh, i think uh, the uh, spokesperson of the congress party says that that uh, parvati she is not in public domain and she is holding 14 plots see the idea it's not it's not about the questioning the scheme the idea is the criteria of allotment if you see mr kharge's son i think who has been allotted what is the purpose of that plot 
it is upliftment of i think sc community is that Incorrect. do you fit in that criteria that is most crucial question Incorrect. it is about the process of allotment which is not been followed and again my central question is very very simple punam if you are sure sure that okay everything is proper the allotment is proper then there is a question of pride in returning the plot you should in, in fact stand you know strong and fight it out that no it is perfectly as per the policy why should i return the plot if i have done nothing wrong if everything as per policy i have followed all the norms the money is paid properly why should i return my plots in fact that raises the question if 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 absolutely if it is political it it will go to the coming print right. lavana wala last 30 seconds please i don't have yeah. much time left yes. yeah the bjp refuses to answer the question why did they bring up the 50-50 scheme why did they reward parvati with 14 sites were they intent on creating a scam or if they have committed a scam how many other people are the recipients of these sites like this it is the bjp which must be answering all of these questions well the jury is out on that as far as whether these corruption allegations against mrs sidaramaiya and his family stick or not the enforcement directorate uh, is investigating there is uh, a parallel investigation that is being conducted as well truth will eventually prevail that is the hope on that note i thank you both for joining us here on this edition of plain speak and sharing your perspective